YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you all with another video. Hope you all are having a great week. My week is going very good. I want to say one thing. Big shout out to all my subscribers and all my channel members. You all are the best. Much love to you all. I love all of you all. Even the ones who be hating on the slick. I love you all too. But you all, we have another video. Yes, today is Wednesday. Not Thursday, Thursday. Today is Wednesday. So you know what that means. Today is tricking Wednesday. Yes, it ain't tricking if you got it. But it is if you don't got it. But anyway, what I need you all to do before we dive deep into this video where we talk about this pastor who has gone wrong. And one thing I want to say also is this right here, is that you can't judge every pastor by the last pastor that you see. You see what I'm saying? You can't sit up here and say, well, this pastor is living a certain way or lying or being a hypocrite. So I'm going to stop going to church. I'm going to stop praising God, whatever. And I'm not trying to tell you to become, you know what I'm saying, religious or anything because I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. I'm not trying to tell you don't believe in God. All I'm trying to tell you is this right here. Use your spirit of discernment and decipher, that is, you know, what it is you want to do, who you want to follow, who you want to listen to. Don't follow anybody. Follow Christ. Listen to Christ. But anyway, I need you all real quick to get those sweet, precious, badass kids out the room right now so we can talk about what's really going on in the mind of an ex-pastor who decided to turn X-rated, uh, not porn star kind of, but kind of porn star, but content creator, if you will. I don't know how you put them two together, but anyway, get those kids out the room right now. Go ahead. Anyway, hope those kids out the room by now. If they're not out the room by now, tough. Double D T. And since today is Wednesday, uh, we'll take all sides, all sides. Tomorrow we can't take all sides, but today we'll take all sides because the person in question is far from a damn double D. And I'm not trying to throw no shade, but I don't know what else to do. But you all, this pastor who goes by the name of Nicole Mitchell was once married and everything, and also a mom of three. She's still a mom of three, of course, but she's not married no more. And she belongs to this mega church in St. Paul, Minnesota. You know, Minnesota got a lot of damn mega churches. Anyway, I don't know who the head pastor is, but they got her right here, you know, basically preaching. You all can go check it out or whatnot. But at the same time, what makes a woman who's a female pastor, even though some men don't believe in female pastors, to each their own. But what makes a woman sit up here and want to turn to the dark side like she damn Luke Skywalker? I mean, what is really going on? But anyway, not only do this mom sit up here and make uh, pictures and racing videos for her OnlyFans. Yes, OnlyFans. And one thing I want to say about OnlyFans, OnlyFans is not meant for everybody. Let's take Suki Hunter in the question, even though Suki don't have anything to do with this. And Suki, please don't make a video cussing me out because I can cuss back. But anyway, on real, you know, and I must say this right here, OnlyFans is not meant for everybody. Suki Hunter, I mean, you could have kept that video. How you sit up here and do a damn uh, slob my knob, give me some top? You know, and throw up all over your damn boyfriend. What's his name? Greasy, uh, Glizzy, or whoever. How you sit up there and grab the wood and beat yourself in the head with it like, oh, like you a pirate or something. How the hell do you do that? See, only fans is not meant for everybody. It didn't throw up on the guy. But anyway, I must say, Nicole Mitchell only fans is a little bit better. And the only reason why I know about this is because I had to go over to do research purposes. Because I'm not paying to see no damn body. If you ain't my woman, I ain't finna give you a damn dime. You know what I'm saying? Like Tupac said, trick on them hoes. I ain't no one. Anyway, now, I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story so we can dive a little deeper. And I'm going to get my opinion. All of it. Surely. As we go. Pastor now sells X-rated pics and videos online after quitting church to become a damn stripper. How in the hell you turn from God, turn from praising the Almighty, to all of a sudden getting butt booty ass naked? You know what I'm saying? I mean, damn, fellas. And how many of y'all thirsty over there? You got men and women over there. Because Nicole says she's bisexual, she's pansexual. And every time I think about pansexual, I'm thinking about doggy style and hitting somebody in the head with a pan. And I don't know. You know, forgive me. I'm still a work in progress. God ain't through with me yet. But that's what I think about when I think of the word pansexual. Anyway, a 36-year-old female pastor, 36, but look at her a bit. A horny, give me some money, 46 in the face. Female pastor who has quit the work of God. How you quit working for God? You know what I'm saying? Well, guess this. It's going to come a day. It's going to come a day. And that's for me, myself, and I. And that's for you all also. It's going to come a day. You're going to need God. Let me tell you something. For those who don't believe, let something happen to you. Let you feel that pain in your heart or whatever or inside your head and you can't move or whatever. And guess what? You're going to call on somebody then. Who you call on when you need help? You'll be like, oh, oh, oh. 
nothing. See? Anyway, now, a 36-year-old female pastor who looked every bit 46 in the face has quit the work of God to become a stripper and has now resorted to selling X-rated pictures and videos online to do what? To make money. No, she don't want to base cookies. She don't want to go take the Girl Scouts nowhere, even though I don't think they even do that right now due to this COVID stuff. She don't want to open up no restaurant or anything like that. She don't want to open up no damn daycare. All thing she want to do is just open up them legs. Anyway, her she goes by the name of Nicole Mitchell. A mom of three is reported as saying that she has always dreamt of becoming an erotic dancer, but she never had a chance to pursue it because she grew up in a Greek Christian family. Now, how many of you all, my people, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of people on here who are uh, born again Christians, uh, 10 times born again. You know what I'm saying? I've been baptized four, five times. But anyway, how many of you all grew up in a strict Christian family? I know I grew up in a strict Christian family, and I turned out all right. But anyway, I mean, your parents are strict for a reason. They're strict basically because they want the best for you. They don't want to expose you to everything in the world, you know, even though they come later on as you get older, which you should. You know, that was part of being an adult is. But how many of you all grew up in a strict Christian family, and some of you all turned out right, some of you all ain't shit? Anyway, let's continue. According to the news source, she has not come out as, guess what, yes, bisexual. I mean, she goes both ways. She wants the wood. She wants the candy. That's what I call being greedy. You can't be that damn greedy. I mean, come on now. You got to say something for everybody else. But anyway, she came out as bisexual and carved a new career as a stripper. Model and erotic dancer. How you be a stripper, a model and a erotic dancer? You just up there just getting naked and stuff and just moving all seductive like that's it. I mean, you can do that in the bedroom. Anyway, and regularly post semi-clad images on her Instagram page to her followers and all her thirsty ass followers. Please don't come over here mess with me on my page because we will. We will report your ass. Yes, we're going to snitch. We're going to snitch. You know, I'm going to do like the... Um, uh, Jehovah did like WWJD. What would Jesus do? Some of you are like WWJD. What that mean? What would uh LeBron James do? Hell no. But anyway, I'm just gonna turn the other cheek. Anyway, now aside from that, she also runs an OnlyFans account, and that's where things get a little racy and a little tricky at, where people pay to see explicit photos and videos of her. How do you go from preaching about God? to pre preaching about being a virtuous woman. Whatever happened to being a virtuous woman? People don't even know what that means no more these days. I mean, for my people out there who are virtuous women, I salute you all. People going to look that up right now. Virtuous? Trey King said virtuous. And then going to go ask their friends or their mama or whoever. Even your mama ask you, look, baby, you think I'm a virtuous woman? Your daughter going to know damn well that you're not virtuous. You don't have three men in your house in the last three days. Anyway, now, Nicole mentioned her own words. She says this right here. I started off really timid. Like, just topless photos, just showing these little A cups, well, like A minus. But anyway, but now I'm at the point where I take it all off with personal requests and make videos very tailored to people's specific desires. Nicole is quoted saying, like, I was scared at first, but after, but after they getting a few bucket of books, shit, I bust that thing wide open and everything. You can see my heartbeat. Just look closely. Anyway, now let's continue. Now I don't want to get in no trouble. When she got married and became a pastor, her strict Baptist family, whose view was that a woman's place is in the kitchen and raising the damn kids, looking after the children. And a lot of you all still believe that way to those old school values. And I know it's a new different age of time. You ain't got to sit up here and try to educate moi. But what I'm trying to say is this right here. What do you think a woman's place is? And if that's the case, then where a man's place is. If a man's place is to work and to provide for his family, where the hell is a woman's place? On Instagram, on them OnlyFans, busting it wide open for a few dollars? Hell no. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about that. Like I say also, to each his own. You know, I don't care what you do. But if a man places to work and provide for his family, what the hell is a woman's place? That's all I want to know right there. I'm just asking a question. That's it. Anyway, let's finish. Reports say Nicole decided to give up the work of God to chase desires. Hold on now. Now, now, I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I'm far from the dumbest. When you give up, when you give up certain things to really live uh, I hate to say it like this, a Christian life, you know, you're going to have to give up certain things. You can't sit up here and do the same damn things that you was doing before and then call yourself born again. Hell no, it don't work that way. When you are born again, you put away the old you, the what we call the old man or the old woman, however, still the old man. You know what I'm saying? You do away with that and turn to things that are new, which means you do not do the things that you used to do no more. You don't have those same desires. So how in the hell can you be a preacher Preaching to the people, and then you still have the desires. 
to bust that thing wide open. I mean, damn, that's a crying damn shame. And not just for your husband, but for the world to see. You know what I'm saying? All the reason why we report on this stuff because it's public. You know, I wouldn't even know nothing about Nicole Mitchell unless my subscribers and everything, channel members, didn't send me this info. So, if the shit comes down, I blame you all for this because it's you all who put me up to this. Anyway, let's repeat. She says, I decided to give up on the work of God. You decided you can't give up on God. God already knew what you was going to do before you done it. I already know what you're going to do after it. So, how in the hell could you give up on God? Anyway, she says she gave up on God to chase desires. After she and her now ex-husband, she had John left her as her husband, well, her ex-husband was named was John. John said, hell with that, John sticking with Christ. I don't blame you, John. But anyway, joining an evangelist mega church in St. Paul, Minnesota, where gender equality was a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Well, basically, basically, you couldn't be a certain way. You have to be, you know, you have to be straight. You couldn't be a homosexual. You couldn't be gay, anything like that. But anyway, now the news reported that she began to question her sexuality in 2016, after she went to an LGBT-oriented theater performance and she realized she was bisexual and pansexual. How in the hell you a pastor and then you in your damn 30s and then all of a sudden you just not realizing that you bisexual and pansexual. That word pansexual get me every time. Because like I said earlier in the video, when I hear pansexual, I think about doggy style and hitting a chick in the head with a frying pan. I don't know what the hell made me think that way. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm still a work in progress myself. Forgive me. But anyway, how in the hell do you wait that long to realize or 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 think that you're something other than what you are? The world is messed up, man. Anyway, she goes on also to say, I knew if I revealed my queerness, this is not queer eye for the straight guy. This is queer eye for the straight woman. Anyway, she says, I knew if I revealed my queerness, I would lose it all because the church is not welcoming to queer people, she said. So we're going to make this about uh people being homosexual instead of people being money hungry. Which one it is? You can't have it both. Let me tell you something. Like my uh, grandma used to tell me, excuses are like assholes. Everybody got one. Anyway, let's finish. Nicole didn't left the church for good to live as she desired to live as a Jezebel. In other words, she even made a YouTube video to confess about her decision in sexuality. You can do what you want to do or whatnot, but the Bible speaks of Jezebel. I mean, if the duck is a duck and it quacks, guess what? It's a duck. You feel me? If you hear someone going over there, moo, unless it's a big fat ass person, and no offense to them, it's a cow. So forgive me. If you sit up here and you're doing stuff like that, you're a Jezebel. Ain't no right or wrong way to say it. Anyway, now she is quoted as saying she is happier than ever after relocating to Los Angeles and divorced her husband. Damn, ain't that something right there? Ain't that something? Not only, not only you decide to turn to the dark side, but you gonna leave your husband. What about the kids, Nicole? What about the kids? But I guess you said the hell with that shit. As long as you get that money, she says. Also, every person has their right to express themselves in whatever way feels good to them. And this is how it feels good to me. You are exactly right. You can live how you want to live. You only got one life to live, like that old soap opera. So live it, boo boo. She says. Also, my sexuality is incredibly healing and sacred. Well, if it's sacred, sacred means you know what I'm saying. It means something that's very valuable and private to you you know what i'm saying that you can't be shared with everybody but how in the hell is it sacred and you sharing that monkey and them itty bitties all over the damn world you know what i'm saying got them got them all posted up how is it sacred it's not that sacred and she goes on to say and when i give this gift to people <laughs> a gift to, you know what i'm saying you busting it open it blesses them the coach said that's what i'm talking about right there when you said it blesses them i mean it ain't nothing like a uh a piece of cookie that monkey, not monkey, but monkey. You know, look at the uh, thing below. Monkey. When you get that thing to people, sometimes it does bless them, but sometimes it blesses them with the wrong stuff. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this is a sad situation, but I'm going to tell you this right here. If if you got a relationship with God, keep your relationship with God. And once again, I am no way trying to tell somebody how to live their lives, but you cannot sit up here and say that you was a pastor and that you you doing all this stuff and you have people looking at you a certain way and then people questioning pastors don't want to go to church or whatnot. You can do what you want to do, but at the same time, this does not represent all pastors. But stop making excuses for what you want to do. You're human. You're going to do what you want to do. You're going to follow your worldly desires like they say in church. But at the same time, guess what? It's going to come a day. It's going to come a day. Like uh, Chug Knight said, you're going to have to bow down to the road. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. Keep the faith. Stay strong. And whatever you want to do, you go ahead and do it. But don't sit up here and say 
that you are professing to be holy and everything sacred to you when you're giving it all to the world. Some sacred is valuable and you keep it to yourself. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. The next time you all stay blessed, I'm out.